According to the to Boyle's law, Robert Boyle states that the pressure of a given quantity of gas varies inversely with its volume at constant temperature. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Medyo mahaba yung definition, no? So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin niyan that a volume is directly affected by the pressure at a constant temperature. So, we, we are going to perform uh, an experiment that proves our theory. So, in this experiment, you will be needing this one, a 1.5 plastic bottle so, or any size of plastic bottle together with this one so this I've got this from a worn out bicycle part yung sa rubber nya tapos ipapasok mo lang sya dun sa takip and then ito naman yung gagawin natin takip dito ayan so ganito yung inyong kailangan to prove our theory next is the balloon so okay lang na isang balloon lang so meron tayong dalawa dito a ball pen mamaya malalaman nyo kung para saan yung ball pen and this one an air pump Okay, the first thing that you're going to do is you need to insert the balloon, an inflated balloon inside the plastic bag. Okay, ito yung mga gagawin natin. Unang mga gagawin is kailangan, try mo muna to. Okay, so hindi mo siya mapapasok sa loob ng plastic bottle kapag may hangin na yung iyong balloon. So it's very impossible for us to do that. So, ang gagawin mo is this one. Inflate mo siya. Pasok mo yan dito. And then, dito na papasok yung part ng ball pen. So, hindi naman talaga buong ball pen yung kailangan natin. Kailangan lang natin ng daanan ng hangin. Tapos, pasok mo siya dyan. And then, saka mo siya i-blow. And then, yun na. So, parang magic, pero hindi na. It involves science. Yan. Yun. Now, ulitin natin yung Boyle's Law. So, the volume is directly or greatly affected by the, the pressure at a constant temperature. So, ibig sabihin, yung temperature natin is not going to change. So, yun pa rin ang kanya temperature. So, tingnan natin. Now, ano yung sinasabing volume? Yung volume na tinatawag is yung volume ng balloon. Di ba kapag malaki ang balloon natin, mas marami kang mailalagay. Pag maliit yung balloon, mas konti, kang, mas konti yung mailalagay mo. Now, yung pressure naman na sinasabi is we are going to add pressure inside the plastic bottle. How are we going to do that? Dito na mapasok yung air pump. Okay? natin dito, pambahan natin siya. Now, sa theory natin, if we are going to add pressure, then there, there will be a decrease in the volume. So, dapat lumiit yung balloon. Yun yung theory natin. So, by experimentation, tingnan natin kung yun yung mangyayari. If you are going to observe very carefully, ayan, kumayo ka, ayan, okay. Dapat, Lumiit yung balo natin. Na. Medyo lumiit na yung balo natin. So, alam na natin yung dahilan dyan. No? Because we add a pressure, additional pressure on the plastic bottle. So, the balloon decreases. Or the volume of the balloon decreases. Now, tingnan natin, if you're going to decrease the pressure, what will happen? to the balloon inside the plastic bottle. Natin. It's growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. Okay? So, kanina, malit yung balloon natin. So, dahil binawasan natin yung pressure, nadagdagan naman yung volume nung balloon. So, ito yung sinasabi ni Robert Boyle, no? So, it is the relationship between the volume and the pressure. Okay? Back to you, Sir Pops! Alright. Hi, everyone! This is your Sir Pops again making another video tutorial. So, we're going to have a problem solving on the Boyle's law. Problem number one, 
uh, a scuba diver needs tank in order to provide breathing gas while he is underwater. How much pressure is needed for 6 liters of gas at 1.01 atmospheric pressure to be compressed in a 3 liter cylinder? So as I said earlier, this is a Boyle's law problem. Boyle's law. Okay? So according to uh, Robert Boyle, uh, we are go at the relationship between pressure and volume of a gas is inversely proportional. So it means to say that if we have a higher volume, we will be having a lower pressure. If we have a lower pressure, we will be having a higher volume or vice versa. So in this case, in this problem, we are going first to identify the given. Okay? So in this particular problem, the given is or the question is, how much pressure is needed for 6 liters of gas at 1.01 atmospheric pressure to be compressed in a 3 liter cylinder? So, these are the given. And the formula that we are going to use is V1, V sub 1 times V sub 1 is equal to V sub 2 times V sub 2. So, we need to identify what is our B sub 1, P sub 1, and we need to identify what is our B sub 2, P sub 2 in the problem. So in this case, 6 liters of gas at 1.01 atm. So this would be our B1 and P1. Okay? So our B1 would be equal to 6.0 liters and our P1 should be 1.01 atmospheric pressure or the unit is ATM. Now, for our V2, it should be 3 liters. Now, our P2 is missing. So, using this formula, using this formula, we can calculate for the missing part. So, according to the problem, according to the question, how much pressure is needed at a 3.0 liter cylinder? Okay? Now, let's look at first the possibility of getting the correct answer. For, for B1 and P1, we have 6 liters, 1.018 atm. Now, our volume was reduced from 6 liters to 3 liters. So, what is it that the problem is trying to say? What could be the possible answer in the pressure 2 or the P2? So, our P2 so, uh, will supposed to have... Since this one goes down, the volume goes down, means to say that the pressure will move up. Okay, let's continue. So our pressure should go up. It should be higher than 1.01 atm. Okay, let's calculate. So we, we are going to replace the values, B1, P1. So our B1 is... 6 liters, 6.0 liters multiplied by 1.01 atm equivalent to B2 which is 3 liters multiplied by P2. Okay. So you need to divide both sides of the equation by 3 liters. 3 liters so that we can cancel this one. Okay. So our P2 would be something like this. 6.0 liters times 1.01 atm divided by 3 liters. And according to my computation, now our P2 is 6 times 0 0.101 is equivalent to 6.01 liter ATM divided by 3 liters. So let's cancel the L. So what will remain is ATM. Our P2 is equivalent to 2. Am I correct? What's, what could be the possible answer? 2.02. 2.02 ATM. 
And that's how you uh, answer the problem in the Boyd's Law. Now, if you're going to look at the answer, we have a higher pressure because our volume gets lower. So, we need to have a higher pressure because the volume goes down. So, we have a 2.02 atm higher than 1.01 atm of P1. And that's how you answer Boyd's Law. Okay, let's continue. Let's have problem number two. Oxygen gas inside a 1.5 meter gas tank has a pressure of 0 0.95 atm. Provided that the temperature remains constant, how much pressure is needed to reduce its volume by one half? So let's meet first the conditions of this problem. So there are something like this. How much pressure? How much pressure is needed to reduce its volume by one half? So means to say. We are going to reduce or divide this 1.5 liter into 2 because it said it is reduced by 1 half. So, later on, we're going to do that. And the formula that we are going to use is this one, B1. Again, this is again a Boyle's Law problem equal to B2, P2. Okay? So... Let's start. Now, our V1 and P1 or B2 or P2 should be a given that is paired together. So, let's have 1.5 liter gas tank and has a pressure of 0.95 atm. Okay, uh, dear students, your 1.5 gas tank pressure and 0.95 atm, you can put that in the B2, P2 side or B1, P1 side. So, for this problem, we are going to name it B1 and P1. Okay? So, our B1 is equivalent to 1.5 liters and our P1 is equivalent to 0 0.95 atm. Now, our B2, now this is, we need to meet the condition. So, our B2 is reduced by one half. Volume is reduced by one half. So 1.5 liters divided by one half. Uh, 1.5 divided by two means we have a 7.5 liter or 0.75 liter. 0.75 liters. Now our P2 is missing. Now let's look at the problem. So our B1 is 1.5. It gets smaller. It drops to 0.75 liters, so means to say that our pressure, it gets lower that our pressure should get higher than 0.95 atm. Okay? So, that is our possible answer. Now, let's solve for the problem. Apply the formula. So, V1, P1. So, 1.5 liters times 0 0.95 ATM is equal to 0.75 liters times P2. Okay? Divide both sides by 0.75 to cancel the uh, 0.75 liters. 0.75 liters and our equation should be look like this. Our pressure 2 is equivalent to 1.5 liters times 0 0.95 atm divided by 0 0.75 liters. Now, let's answer that. So, our P2. Now, the answer to this one, 1.5 liters times 0 0.95 atm is 1.4 2.5 liter ATM divided by 0.75 liters. The answer is 1.9 ATM. Now, if you're going to observe the answer, since our volume gets lower, our pressure will get higher from, from the uh, B1, P1 portion. So, from 1.5, it becomes 0.75. And then from point, from 0 0.95 ATM, it becomes 
ATM. And this is what Boyle's law is trying to say. If we have a lower pressure, we will get a higher volume. If we have a higher volume, uh, lower volume, we will have a lower pressure. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Nice. Boy.